In this video, we'll edit a Thingiverse model and then print it in two colors on a dual extruder. I'm importing a Pikachu from Thingiverse. It imports at the corner of the grid and I'm going to move it onto the grid as that makes cruising in primitives next to it easier. And that's what I'll do now. I'm going to make a bowl in front of it, so I'll cruise in both a sphere and a box. It's easier if I set this on orthographic view because I'm going to sketch some polylines on a vertical face of the box now at the locations where I want to split the sphere. I'm going to split it in the middle and at the bottom because that will enable me to print it without supports. Now click on Split Solid, click on the sphere, and then click on the line. Click on the grid to finish. And we've just split the sphere in half. Do it again for the bottom part of the sphere and the other line. Then delete the parts we don't need anymore. Select this face and shell it. I'm going to make the shell a bit wider and now select the bottom and press pull it up to make it thicker. Then position it. I'm going to scale it a bit bigger. Then select it and type D and it will drop to the work plane level with the bottom of the Pikachu STL file. A little bit more finessing there. Now I'm going to move this box next to Pikachu. And I'm going to press pull it up the height of the ears. Now I'll draw a line at the location where I want to split the ears from the body. I'm going to make the ears a different color. First I want to convert this, the STL file to a solid and now I'm going to split the ears from the solid. I can delete all this stuff now. I don't need it anymore. I need to combine the body and the bowl now, so I'll do that with Combine Merge. And now I'm going to export the body and the ears as separate STL files. To do this, hide the body and then export the ears. Leave them in that location because when they export, the origin will be preserved. Then bring the body back with the show body function and then do the same thing with the ears. Hide them and export the body.
Now we're ready to import the ears and body STL into Simplify 3D. So import them both separately. There's the body. And now bring in the ears. Now note that they're both at the same origin on the build plate. Select them both with the shift key, click on align selected origins, and the ears will snap to the top of the body. Perfect. Now we have to set up a process that is slicer settings for each STL file. So click on the left extruder. Make sure it says left extruder on all of the tabs and make sure everything is as you want it. And also click both extruders. Then do the same thing for the other STL file. Only make sure everything says right extruder. And again, make sure it says both extruders there. Now click on Tools, Dual Extrusion Wizard. Click on the material you're going to use. I'm assigning the left extruder to the body and the right extruder to the ears. Click Prepare to Print. Select both of these processes. Again, hold the Shift key down to do that and click OK. There's the tool path. And then click Save Toolpath to Disk or begin printing with the USB.